Here we're looking at a binomial experiment, and this one has 20 trials. Probability of success on trial 13 is 0.44. Now, there's several features of binomial experiments. Uh, one of them is the, the probability of success on each trial is the same. So that means the probability of success on trial 13 is the same as the probability of success on all the other trials. So in this question, they ask, what is the probability of success on trial 17? So on trial 13, it was this, and that means on every trial, including 17, it has to be this number. So we go 0.44. So that's chance of success. The next question is the same, except they give us probability of success on trial 10 is 0.29. And we have to see what's the probability of not success or failure on trial 14. So we have success. Uh, we usually use P for this 0.29. So failure or not success, it'll be Q. And this formula is one minus P. It's the opposite probability. So we go equals one minus the number we just got. And we have 0.71. So just remember the defining characteristics of binomial uh, experiment. There's multiple trials. Each trial has the same chance of success, or you could think of the chance of failure. But this one, each one has success chance 0.29. Normally, we ask what's the chance of 10 out of 15 trials being successful. That's a more typical question we ask. This one's just a general uh, property of binomial experiment.